important. The musician is my first trade, my first career. I really enjoy learning Chinese music. Our ancient music is actually pentatonic scale, so five notes, and that's the same with the Chinese traditional music. So I think a lot of the songs that uh, we both love in common, for example, like Yo Yi Di Jiu Tian Chang. For me, I'm a big fan of Chinese tea. The feeling of drinking Chinese tea gives me definitely an appreciation of the culture. If you attend a Chinese tea ceremony, instantly you feel relaxed. It's a, it's a kind of meditation, it's an art form. What does etiquette mean? The biggest opportunity in China is spread etiquette and good manners, is to teach everybody these small touches, but then in the next generation for parents to pass them down to children. And it will, in one or two generations, become absolutely second nature to have this level of good manners and good etiquette. And I'm fascinated to teach everybody. We're just teaching people self-improvement, self-confidence. So what we're doing is just giving people a taste so that they can really hold their own in any society. You know, doing good deeds for others, showing other people respect, showing yourself respect are just basic needs that we all have in order to live a happy life. Today we learned how to cut. It's really a very ancient form of art and something that really we're going to have to study a lot harder. Goodness, this is not the right job for me. Today we studied how to write Zhongguo with Chinese calligraphy and definitely it's something that we cannot recreate in one lesson. Writing Chinese, cutting the special red paper, it gives me a totally new appreciation of Chinese culture and history. Zhongguo. Zhongguo. For me, China is very new, even though I have got to know it quite well. So it's an old friend, but it's a new friend too.